great meeting time back home where I was born was a happy time every Sunday morn. I remember well the songs we used to sing, how we'd make the rafters ring. It was there I learned to pray when I was just a kid. Now I'm far away and I'm so glad I did. Someday I'm going back to hear those church bells chime at Sunday morning the journey of my life were a country road, the important landmarks along that road would be places of worship. The little white church with the pot-bellied stove in the center of the pews where I first heard about a land called Beulah. The village church when, as a kid, I listened to the old saints testify to the faithfulness of God through the years. The church by the river where I had my first date and the youth group would sing Kumbaya around the campfire on the riverbank after Sunday night services. Along my journey is the church where I promised my sweetheart I'd be faithful till death do us part, and the place where we brought our first baby to be dedicated to God. And at one church by the road, I said goodbye to my precious father, and later my mother. And because of those who came to share our grief, I knew I would not walk on alone. So when the church bell rings this Sunday morning, I'll hear a whole chorus of bells in my heart, and I will go into the house of the Lord full of gratitude for those landmarks along my path that have brought me to this Sunday morning meeting time. Sunday meeting time Back home when I was born Was a happy time Every Sunday morning I remember well the songs we used to sing, how we'd make the rafters ring. It was there I learned to pray when I was just a kid. Now I'm far away, I'm so glad I did. Someday I'm going back to hear those church bells chime at Sunday morning me time. After leaving the Statesman in 1963, Jake organized the Imperials, which was probably one of the first contemporary gospel groups of our time. And regal they were, with an all-star lineup. Arma Morales, Cheryl Nielsen, Gary McSpadden, and Henry Slaughter at the piano. Jake's never been afraid to venture out with new ideas, and this one was new and very innovative. He just knew how to put great voices together, and these were the best of the time. Joe Miscale shares an interesting story about Jake's management style when he hired him as the new keyboard player back in 1967. And that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. 